The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 8, NASDAQ down 24, S&P's up 4, gold contract up $4.50 trading at 1513 an ounce. We have silver up 4 cents, $17.08 an ounce. Light sweet crude slammed down a buck and a half, $53.88. We know there's plenty of oil. China can put a tariff on oil. Guess what? There's oil everywhere. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year up 4 ticks, trading 130.13, 30-year up one at 164.04. Now, both notes and bonds this morning, folks, have rejected lower price. They want higher price, lower yield once again. King dollar. King dollar up 56 ticks, trading 98.120. That's been moving all over the place. Looks like it's going to fail at these uh, highs, though. Couldn't get into that high of August, which is trying to get into. The euro is at 110. The yen is out here at 106.5. And the pound is out here at 122 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at these S&Ps. Uh, <laughs> you know, we I said to you, where do we start? What headline do you want to talk about? Right. Well, you know, I think... We all slow, came late August, sorry, that was Seriously. right in there. Not quite, man. Where, we all, where are we going to go? We yeah. all came in expecting that it's going to be Jackson Hole. That's sure. things. Guess what? It's not. It's uh, bottom line. Be, you, uh, you, get, you have China move that market down fast, furious. Uh, Powell just come out. He just started. That popped the other way. So we get down to what? 2901. Pops into 2917. Sure. And so let's bring everybody full speed that might be tuning in, right? China putting tariffs, additional goods, 8 a.m. this morning. You're talking about autos, $75 billion worth of goods. Um, auto companies, crude specifically, 5% tariff. Right. Soybeans. An additional, Soybeans, additional 5% tariff. Um, I saw pork in there as well. Um, lots to lots to digest. And then we have Powell just started talking at 10 a.m. His remarks being released right before he began talking, I believe. And so that's why you see the pop on the other side of the market. Um, and looks like it's a calm market if you didn't know what we've been doing, man. But that Dow traded down about 250 to 300 points on the tariff news. And then it just popped a good 150 uh, or so for yep. some of points on the on Powell. And Powell's on a little bit. Uh, the market's liking what he's saying, right? And he's saying that they remain ready um, to act as appropriate. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be remain, remain ready, all right. So if we take a look at the the uh, Fed fund futures, you got we're at 91 percent for a cut the September 18th quarter point. Yeah. We're at 63 percent. For the second cut. I have to be, we're at 100% for a cut. We're at 91 for a, a 25 basis point. We're at, right? I want to bring people into, yeah. S say that again, though. We're at 100% chance probability for a cut. There's just an 8% chance it's going to be 50 basis points. What's this 91.7 there? Okay, follow me. This is where everybody, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you're not the only one who has questions. Right now, we're sitting at 2 to 2.5. Right. A 25 basis point cut would be 175 to 2. Right. That's 91. But a 50 basis point cut would be 1.5 to 1.7, which is an 8.3% chance right now in the September meeting. Right. The chance of a cut of any kind is 100% in September. Oh, yeah. Right, right. I just, it's not right. a 91% right. chance of a cut. It's 100%, right? right? I just, yeah. Right. Okay, man. I don't want to frustrate you off the bat. I feel like people might have been well, confused. Well, I'm saying it's a 91% chance of a quarter percent cut. That's you didn't say a quarter percent. You just said a cut. I'm just trying to be... Okay. I just want everyone to be clear. There's a 100% chance the market says there's a cut. People right. might hear that and, and think there's not a 100% chance there's a cut. Oh, my goodness. There's a 10% chance there's a 50 basis point cut. That's that's a staggering number um, for sure. If we take a look at these uh, S&Ps, this is going to get really interesting. So what we have here, folks, is this, is that you came down fast and furious. The pop was good. You know, you, you can see that you get some volume on this pop up here, Oof. getting up to that uh, 2920. So the battle's going to be right here. So what pop? We just gave it all up. That's yeah. crazy. We right. just we just gave up 15 S and P points since yeah. I almost did that update at 10 o'clock. It's yeah. now 10:10. 10, 10. The, the 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 deal is here. Now watch this. If you take a look at some of these, uh, actually Daimler, D A M, D I A, I believe it's going to be. Nope, D I A M. There we go. All right. Daimler. No? Is it going to be Fiat? Is that where... No, I'm looking for Daimler Chrysler. Okay. 
Um, Did they merge with Fiat? No. I'll find it in the next thing. Okay. When you see this chart, folks, the Diamond Chrysler, it's a, it's like off the charts, meaning it's been going down forever. Sure. And you know what it is, well, what some of it is, is that these SUVs are made in the United States. They're we sell a lot in the United States, but they ship a lot of them to China. Yeah. And now the the Taft actually gets almost up to fifty percent. Yeah. I mean, we're jumping around on this article, right? So the headline, of course, you know, China hits U.S. with higher tariffs, soybeans, cars, oil. Um, they're going to resume the 25% tariffs on U.S. automobiles from December 15th. It's going to take September 1st. Some of this we're is here. coming down the line. Right. Yeah, and December, some of the others, I guess. And, you know, this is an interesting graph here where they talk about German manufacturers, BMW and Daimler, talking about that they make six of China's 10 best-selling auto imports, BMW alone with that X5. I think a lot of that coming, I know that that South Carolina plant, I yep. believe, with the SUVs that they're popping out, I believe that's a big one for BMW down there. So pretty remarkable when you talk about you want American-made folks, these tariffs are hurting American-made BMWs, okay? Yeah. Those are American workers in that BMW plant that are, gonna, that are not happy this morning, I imagine. Oh, big yeah. time. Some of the, uh, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what's getting hit there inside the Dow. So we take a look at this. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So Caterpillar is going to pop up there. And look at Boeing. I mean, without Boeing, man. Yep. So Boeing is putting 67 positive points. Uh, we're down 75 in, in the Dow. United Health putting four. Um, Apple's uh, down, putting 17 negative points. You get 3M putting 14. You get Goldman putting 13. Uh, inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness out here. You got uh, strength is intuitive software that came out with numbers last night. That's an all-time high. It's up sixteen dollars. Surgical or software? Which one? I believe it's. In, in is it software? Yeah, okay. it's, it's accounting software. It's. Uh, there you go. You're right. Yep. Yeah. So, the this is all time highs. They come out with their earnings. Yeah, so they, must they have, did. To be look, up look that at, on look today. Look at that. Look at that number, man. That's quite a chart, right? Oof. You go. You go back to 2011. You're at thirty nine dollars, and you are up at two ninety one. It's pretty good when you almost can't even find a retracement. And there are retracements on that graph, but yep. not in light of where it did. Uh, Workday is up 1.5 percent. Uh, taken away from it, Hasbro is down 6.4. Okay. You got Win Casino off 2.8. Alta Salon is off 2.5, and uh, Analog Devices is down 2.2. So let's just look at this baby. And just remarkable that we have earnings all over the place, along with we had tariffs all over the place, along with we got the Fed governor speaking all over the place. And it's not just Powell, man. You had, you had some of the other governors, right? Oh, Ahead they've, of them. They've all there. been out. Yeah. They've all been out today. This is, uh, this is a battle to get the what folks are thinking about the market. This is like a head battle. <laughs> you know, the, and I'm sure that w what you had is this, is that uh, what they're trying to not do is get us into that December downdraft last time that... The Fed come out and says, okay, listen, you know, things are going to be fine. We're going to take care of everything. But uh, what you had there was uh, speech, no action. And uh, the market made the Fed turn and say, okay, we're going down on rates. Man, right? So it's pretty interesting. They just got a live feed up here on Bloomberg. So talking about the January Fed fund futures indicator rate of 1.515 at the end of 2019. It was at 1.53 just before the release of Powell's remarks. So things shifting in a matter of minutes here as the remarks become public. Maybe they're looking for a little bit lower rates as he's open to, uh, says he does not use the phrase mid-cycle adjustment. Market doesn't want to hear that. So if he's not talking like that, yep. we're getting a pop. We're going downtown, folks. Rates are going down. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 19. Nasdaq's off 26. S&Ps are off 5. So let's go over to that uh, oil contract. So we take a look at the oil contract. This baby has been having a hard time at that 55 level. We made it up to uh, what, 57 Wednesday. Uh, you're coming down right now, and you're coming down with volume. Now, what's so intriguing is that... Oil's had a hard time at this level, but we're trying to put in taps on oil. It's saying quite a bit about how much oil China actually has. Yeah, it definitely does, right? The consensus was maybe they would not impose tariffs on oil because China needs oil. Um, the other element is is maybe they're just really ready to play some hardball, and maybe they're ready to make some sacrifices too. Right. Um, right. So they might need some of that oil, and they might just not care because... President Xi doesn't have an election coming up in 15 months, so right. even if it does hurt them, maybe they do need that, and maybe they're just willing to stick it to um, America in retaliation, even if it is some pain, because President Xi is a dictator in there forever. Um, exactly. And so, yeah. And if we go look at soybeans, so soybeans right now, you're at 864 a bushel. This didn't move them that much. You know, because this thing's been down forever. When you take yeah. the, when you take a look at this chart, we take a look at all the actual grains. They've been low for a long period of time. Um, you know, so this this isn't like something that just happened yesterday. You can see we've been down at these levels. We're, yeah, it's 2014. You know, you, you had highs out here in 2012, 1794 a bushel. You're basically half of that right now. And I think the danger in beans is that uh, 780 is wide open. Let me see how... They had a report yesterday that what was supposed to happen is that the because the con belt had got so much rain, they thought that... There we go. They thought that the, um, the yields weren't going to come in. Well, the largest producer of corn in the United States came in with, there's going to be more corn than last year. 
Okay. And, you know, they, they, their statement was that, yeah, they were surprised themselves, but the bottom line is that the yields are coming in a huge way. And so now what you have, you know, these next three or four weeks are uh, crucial in, in the con market, uh, basically because they're saying that now it, the yield is there, now it has to do with either sun or rain. You know, okay. this is like the, the last three weeks is the most crucial that they actually grow inside those okay. husks. Look at that chart, man. Yeah, crazy. If, if you look at this chart, you go back to May, folks, you're at 363 a bushel. You, June, you go back up to 473 and right back to uh, 367. Yeah, mm. crazy. So we are talking some uh, numbers out here, no doubt. The, the dollar, so the, all these things are moving around so much, it's pretty amazing, actually. The dollar out here, that was looking to get into highs, gave it up pretty quick. You know, look at this thing. So we got up to 98.455. The high out here is 98.700. And then just, oh, that doesn't even look real. Interesting. I guess it, I guess it is real. There's a, there's a pop-up here, folks, with 1,225 contracts. Yeah. But that means that someone was up here selling them. So if you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see here, this is pretty wild. You, you went from 98.105 to 98.455, right when Powell spoke. Yes, that's when his remarks became public, yeah. too. And guess what? It only stayed there for a second. Yeah, why don't we put it on a minute chart and yeah. really see what it... Uh, go to the minute, go to a one day, see how long. So Look at this. It's almost like a tick. Yeah. But I don't know. It might not be because that volume there I, that's, is pretty that's, hefty. It is. Um, and even just looking, can we get it into the tick? Let's see. Yeah, see? And I don't know how. I'm not used to looking at a tick on a yeah, you I don't, think they're it, minute charts. You really don't see that much. That's, that's, that's yeah. You know. No, for sure. I mean, it's basically a one-minute pop in a, in a blip because... You can see that even putting things, you know, the 10 minute looks like that, but in one minute it made it all the way back up there and back down. So just a, maybe that was uh, those programs, right? Looking through um, yeah. AI, checking out the, the prepared see. remarks as they become immediate, yeah. immediately available. That's right. And you get those AI programs training it hard. And, you know, we go over to the gold. What you're going to see here, you get, you get some action. This is Friday, and the currency markets, folks, can really get volatile, and it looks like gold wants to take off again. This will be interesting, watching this thing shake out. So you get a low out here of 1503 today. You're at 1517, and uh, see, look at this, man. This, so gold actually went the other way at 10 o'clock. That, that, we, yep. We're showing the dollar had gone up. Gold went down. It didn't break a swing, yep. you know, but so that was 17,000, and that was going into... 18. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing gold trade basically inverse to the market where you had gold spike higher on the tariff news, you had the market spike lower at 8 a.m., I'm talking about, yep. and then, you know, on the power remarks, as you had the market come back a little bit, you had gold pulling back. But and if we look at, th this is pretty wild yesterday, folks, so the GDX, uh, this was about as anemic you can get on a pullback, so look at this. You, Monday, uh, Tuesday, you go higher with 73 million shares. Yesterday, we pulled back with 39 million. Now we're already at nine. So this is gonna be pretty cool because you're gonna get nine sixes of 54, let's say we get 45. Um, yeah, well, we'll see, 30 went down to 39. I wanna see more than 39, that's for sure. Going back uh, top side into this uh, 2897 number. And let's go see what they're saying about when. I don't know if this is a Macau, Macau China or what. So when is down, not big. Is it say this one? No, there's not much news actually. Yeah. So they they're just, I'd say that they're just looking at that that the TAF news just in general. You, you keep fighting, you never know what kind of collateral damage is going to be out there. Yeah. And all, you know, 80 percent of their revenue comes out of the Macau. So um, we go take a look at the XAU, the HUI. Those babies are going to get some juice out here. The XAU is up 156. So that's over the high of this week. The gold bugs index. You're up two eighteen. Well, oh, that's funny. You're up two eighteen. You're trading two eighteen fifty two. Two nineteen thirteen. That's the number.
then hit, uh, well, okay, so this is, I want to see some volume in this today because we just hit the uh, highs of uh, Tuesday out here. How about CRM? They had their earnings yes. last night and did well. I think they were holding them steady. Salesforce, of course, seems like that company continually just crushes it. It's, it's what, a, what a business plan these yes. guys got. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So let's see. They struggled a bit, but put this. Yeah. Just there yeah. You see, go. it's still at highs. Right. Look at that. It's you quite a monthly bar that we're looking at right now. Isn't too. it? Dips down below 140, and boom, just like that, we're going to close the highs for the month. 40,000 employees taking 4 billion in 90 days. Not bad. 4 billion. Look, Look at that growth. growth. Right. Totally. Big numbers. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down 50. NASDAQ off 23. S&P's off 8. We'll come right back. That Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 53. Nasdaq's off 29. S&Ps are off 8. Let's go over to Hasbro. So Hasbro, uh, it looks like, not quite sure what this is about the trade war, or that Hasbro, Hasbro's buying a huge entertainment company um, in Europe. They, let's see. At first glance, Entertainment One and Hasbro make an ideal bedfellow. The former makes kids' TV hit Peppy Pig. Uh, the 
the latter is the world's biggest toy maker, merge one with the other, and you get a combined video and merchandising giant. Uh, so you got, uh, let's see, Hasbro's planned 3.3 billion U.S. Uh, or 3.3 uh, billion pound, which is 4 billion U.S. Toronto-based studio. It gets, yeah, they're, they're looking for using the kids franchises and then turn them into uh, TV production, right? Yeah. So if we take a look at Hasbro, <laughs> look at this. So Hasbro, come up with the numbers, folks, on the, uh, it looks like the 22nd, pops higher. Uh, now you're back filling that gap. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see uh, how this shakes out. Hasbro right now does... Five billion a year. One well, that's quite a jump. Makes sense, I guess. You come up to the Christmas quarter or whatever. But yeah. Hasbro does five billion a year, and uh, there's there's no doubt that what has happened is that the all the action figures, you know, when you turn around and see the action figures and then put them uh, into selling toys in the in the the market, it's sure. it's, it's a it's a big one. No sure. doubt about that. Yeah. Apple. We go take a look at Apple out here. Still hanging at highs. I mean, it's down 157, but this thing, you know, last high out here in Apple is 221. And right now we're laying out there at 210. How about some of the chip stocks? Uh, maybe AMD, um, Intel, NVIDIA, because I know it tariffs. Yeah, mm -hmm. down slightly. Nothing too crazy, though. So that's uh, AMD's down 35. Uh, NVDA. Yeah, nothing too crazy at no. all. But the day is just starting. It sure is, <laughs> that's, man. That's where this is going. Um, so this will be interesting watching, uh, like, Powell's still speaking. We got, we a live feed up here, right? Yes. We can pull it over. Nothing too staggering in terms of what's coming over yet. Um, we have in here, so this is a BMO analyst, I think. I'm not sure Ian Langan, but Powell's comments were initially read as dovish, but not any more dovish than what came out of the July FOMC statement, press conference, and minutes. That isn't to suggest it was a complete non-event. In fact, the market bull steepened further following the release of the text. Um, so there's a, there's a lot coming over, but nothing too staggering just yet. Right. In terms and if of you what, look at the ten, I, I believe what that, he's saying there is that the market bull, meaning inside the notes and bonds, you're going to sure. see that uh, we just went up. But now this is this is a big move on a ten year, folks. We just went up almost a full point. We went from 129.28 to 130.20. And remember, there's 32 ticks in one point. And you're going to see, you get another rejection of lower price out here. Yeah. Um, you're staying up at these highs. And we've been up here a long time, man. Look at this. I mean, this, this, that June, no. It's August, August 6th. 6th. Yeah. You know, and we're, we're sticking out like a sore thumb. You get a high volume high. So that wants to get tested. 131.11. And we'll see whether you get another ABC structure on the way up. We take a look at the 30-year. 30-year set up the same way. It rejected 162.30. You're at 164.18. And that, put that bag in there. That is also is laying out with that high volume high at uh, 166.30. So 10, the 10 year looks to me like you're setting up on yield, this is, you're setting up an ABC down. Because it's like, you know, the, and this is a, if this is an ABC down, it's a monster leg, folks. Because the A point on this would be 2.09 2 to 1.4. And we'll see, it, tried, it got up to uh, 1.6 today, right now you're at 1.57. And if that's all this market can do, meaning, that slight bounce higher, that's an anemic bounce in a uh, market that very well could be doing an ABC structure on the way down. Sure. Gold has definitely got a, a hit here. And yes. that, that's without, so we'll get over to that gold market for a second. You get buyers. Look at that. Up 1510. You just launched the highs of this week, and you get volume. 24,000 contracts as you blew away that. Uh, Small consolidation. Yeah, I mean, you get 1546 as volume, and now if we finish this out, even where we are, you can see that you 
basically breaking this uh, small downdraft that we've had out here the last, uh, what, 10 days? Not downdraft, but sideways to lower. You know, this, this bar is sticking out like a sore thumb right now. You have 225,000 contracts, which is big contract uh, volume. Natural gas. Let's talk about natural gas for a second. I found out something about natural gas. Oh, look at this. Look at this. But we just went from, we're almost flat the S&P. Um, NG, let's pull up natural gas for a second. So, natural gas, folks. Okay, so let, let's look at this for a second. You know, we know natural gas has been in the dumps for a long period of time. What I didn't know, and so I was talking to this guy that's in this business yesterday well, that I'll end up having on, is that what he was talking about, he was talking about oil and natural gas in general, but he was, I, we were talking about shale and how easy it is that once the shale is drilled, you can turn it on, turn it off very quickly, right? Well, what I didn't know is that he was talking about, he said five years ago that there were so many natural gas wells dug that the exact same thing happens with natural gas. So okay. every time that natural gas tries to pop at all, the people that own the, the natural gas wells, they can go out there and turn them on. Yeah. And he says even, he says a large field, so a large natural gas field, would only cost like fifty thousand dollars to turn back on. Nothing. Smaller right. ones, quite you just you literally almost turn them on. Yeah. Now that is huge information. I mean, I, I guess people in the business would know that, but now I can understand that. Okay, if you have all these wells that you, you get a faucet turning on and off, it's sure. like okay, and, and that's just, not, that's not even talking about how much they have to flare up every time that they are doing a new oil well. Yes. You know because they you know that's that's on the agenda too. So it's yeah. $2.15, right? You got it. That's, that's pretty wild. There's no doubt about that. And those tariffs I saw not hitting natural gas, hitting oil, but no natural gas tariffs in that announcement. Just blink, and here we go. We just went positive, folks. <laughs> Let's look at this. Okay. Seems like Powell might be more open to cuts than mm -hmm. um, some of the other Fed governors and some of those minutes hinted earlier in the week. So let's take a look. So you got... Okay, so now you're right in the middle of the range of today. The, uh, you've, we've had a 37-point range, 36-point range. Lows 2901, highs 2936. Now, now the market's going to say, okay, what are you going to do for me now? Where are we going to go? That's in the S&Ps. NQ, let's go take a look at the NASDAQ futures. Almost the same setup. Lows 7628. Look at that. That's a 140-point that's a spread so far. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Uh, Clawing its way back. We're up uh, 27. Nasdaq's up 7. S&Ps are up 1. Gold's up 13.40. Silver's up 23 cents. Dollar's up 36 cents. Come right back. 36 ticks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 54, Nasdaq's up 8, S&Ps are up 3.5. Uh, what's going to be intriguing here is that, uh, yeah, you get a positive market, but these bonds are not backing off, folks. And, yeah, you see this 30-year this is at uh, 164.18. And that's what I'd be basically watching all day long. So if these bonds don't back off, you're going to end up seeing more selling pressure in the marketplace. Uh, and of course, what we haven't, what I haven't seen yet, anyway, I haven't seen a, a tweet from Trump yet about uh, the impact of uh, the, the tariffs from China. And guess what? You're gonna, we're gonna get one. Just a matter of, uh, you know, not how, if, but when. As how they long? Say. Not yeah. if, but when. Right. Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. The. Uh, so that's Paul. Kraft Heinz. So let's see with Kraft. Yeah, they're gonna go into junk status. Look at this, okay. KHC, yeah, Kraft Heinz Corporation. So that's trading up 14 cents. That chart's a mess. Oh, I see, okay, so Kraft Heinz could be hit with a junk credit rating by oh, mid-2021. If it fails to turn itself around, S&P Global Rating said uh, Friday. Earnings of the Kraft macaroni and cheese Heinz ketchup have been weaker than expected, and the company is sending mixed messages on expectations for performance later this year. The, the credit creditors said the company needs to cut debt relative to earnings and that is worried about the risk Kraft Heinz could face in the second half of 2019, including higher commodity prices and lower stocking uh, at retailers. And just keep going. That next paragraph is the one with the, nope, right, yep. So they carry a triple B rating or equivalent right now, the lowest investment grade rank from all three major grades with about 30.3 billion in long-term debt. That's a worry for a company that continues to struggle. Imagine that. Um, yeah, the company is among the 20 largest issuers of debt in the lowest tier of investment grade, excluding financial companies. So yeah, anytime you're already, you know, triple B is gonna be the lowest in terms of investment grade. And guess what? You're not supposed to just be missing expectations constantly there because that's gonna be a reevaluation, which is probably what the SP said, hey, listen, you guys aren't even living up to what the triple B rating's supposed to be, right? right. And and you're you're right. missing the mark on even that rating. So you better be ready for a junk rating, and then junk rating, higher borrowing costs, oh, right, yeah. and everything. So how do you right. turn that one around if they do? Yeah. I mean, look at this shot. It's ninety-seven dollars, folks, uh, in February twenty seventeen, down yeah. to twenty-five bucks. Almost a seventy-five percent hit, basically amazing. from a hundred to twenty-five. Right. You know what's amazing is that the that the Argentina deal. It's actually amazing that someone actually did buy off Argentina a hundred year. I mean, they floated a hundred year bond. <laughs> I agree. I know. <laughs> That's like unbelievable. At a very low rate. I forget yeah. what it was, but staggeringly right. low. Yeah. Okay, so we, we got, we did, we're not going to get disappointed. Okay, so we got a tweet from Trump. Let's see what, what he's I, saying. I think they have headlines right here. I'm going to jump oh, right good. to it. Here we go. Let's see. So we got a couple oh headlines. Let's see what he's saying. This is perfect. Um, 
I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit, give it a little context. They usually get the tweet in tow. Come on, scroll with me. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the headline. So where where's? All right, they got one tweet over here with the den, right? What are they saying there? As usual, the Fed did nothing. It's incredible they can quote unquote speak without knowing or asking what I am doing. Folks, this is not how it's supposed to work, but we'll continue, which will be announced shortly. We have a very strong dollar, a very weak Fed. I will work brilliantly with both, and the U.S. will do great. My only question is, who is our bigger enemy, Jay Powell or Chairman G? Well, for a guy that sides with Putin, not, not out of the realm to ask who's our bigger enemy, China's dictator or our Federal Reserve Chairman. Right. I don't like that. Some people do. It's the world we live in. That's pretty wild, then. It is. That's, that's about as insane as you Who's get. Who's the bigger enemy? Yeah, right, right. Maybe the chosen one will tell us. Quite the a chosen world. one. Yeah. It's going to be in the schools next year, you know. Next year? What's yeah. wrong with this, this year? year? That's right. <laughs> That's that. So gold keeps going. So now, 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 now that that so that little that little tweet that moves the S and P's around. Let's see what it did. I'm trying to figure out. I wonder what the all the quants do. How their uh, bottom line. What do they put inside those programs for tweets? <laughs> oh, I you think know? those tweets will be at the top of the programs. Yeah, yeah. So if we look at these futures, folks, what you're going to see is that, you know, we we had come down this morning at that eight o'clock time frame. I'm not taking a high, but that was. I'm taking where the announcement come out, which is 29.52. I think it's 29.32. Uh, 32. And then we made it all the way back up to 29.27, right? So this is, you know, that right there is the battle. You know, can I make it up and over that level? Yeah, we'll see. And I suspect that what, you, what you're going to see here is that the day, as uh, man Mr. Basil Chapman would say, has only just begun. The day is young, right? The day is young. The day is young, no doubt. And look at that that gold contract's moving, man. Yeah. Oh, I see why. Look at here we go, folks. Okay, so the dollar has look at this. Bar. Okay, so ninety seven seven fifteen uh, is going to be the number you really want to watch closely today because that, this number, folks. Okay, the, the dollar keeps going outside of it, going into the higher range, giving it up, and as as soon as it has been given it up, then there's no more sellers on the way down. So you, you, it's been going. This has been good, going on when we take a look at this since last October. That being said, however, is that the dollar has continued with higher highs also from last October. It's just that we've stayed relatively in the same range between 94 and 97. When you pull this up, we're going to be here in October before we know it. And you're going to see... You're at 97,530. Was that? that's November, um, and you can see it's just it's at these highs for a long period of time. Yep. And the the low in this is like 94,630. But if we fail, the last time we did fail the week of uh, the second, yeah, the second week of August. We uh, get the, uh, right uh, first, first week of August, first week of August. Yeah, um, and now what you get is that uh, we'll see whether we get a failure out here today. Actually, on the continuous contract, at 98,260 would be a failure. So we're already there on a continuous contract. Imagine being, I'd like to be in that audience out there today and to get a feeling of Jackson Hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here. So silver's also caught a bid. Oh, this is a nice bid on silver. Okay, so silver's going after its highs. Now, this would get intriguing with silver because I don't believe that we've closed here for a while. Let's see. what The, uh, the, the close on silver, 1728. That's 1720. Yeah. So, 1719. Right now, if we close. So, silver's going after this, uh, this high that was generated out here a couple weeks ago. And we'll see if it can close up here. If you close up here, uh, you know, what you're going to have here is that you'll have a closing high, which is, which is pretty cool. And you get the volume in it. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, you know. might get volume everywhere today with yeah, which all is, aspects. We're still in earnings. 
tariff news always can drive the market, as we all know, and Fed speak can always drive the market. I mean, this has been a really anticipated day with, um, we had Fed minutes this week, we had Fed governors speaking, and then you got the chairman on Friday. So it's all coming coming together at once. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 13, Nasdaq's down 3, S&P's a flat, gold's up $17, silver's up 30 cents, King Dollar's down 144. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today it's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 60, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's up 3.5, gold's up $17.90, silver's up 30 cents, and uh, King Dollar. King Dollar's down 184 at 97.875, and uh, no doubt uh, volatility is going to continue out here. I would say so, man. Five and, hours left in the trading day. Watch out. And we'll see uh, how this baby is going to shake out inside the uh, good U.S. dollar here, uh, because this is this is... You get 12,000 contracts, so that's, that's contract volume out here today. You know, we, now, we've had this, we had this yesterday, actually, but then the volume did die off. You know, we'll see uh, if there's going to be a differential out here today. Uh, if we do go over to the uh, Chinese yuan, the, I, was, I was looking at that because there's a few folks that are saying that they're looking for Trump to announce something on the U.S. dollar, and the, the yuan hasn't jumped dramat dramatically. We've been out at 7.081 to 1 U.S. dollar. Uh, now we're over that seven 
mark. There's no doubt. We, we were at six, decent amount. Yeah. yeah, we were at six nine nine for for years, and uh, you know, on a longer term basis, it looks like that thing wants to go to eight. Today, guess what? Friday, folks. Uh, you know, metals can really move. Uh, that gold contract has volume behind it at uh, nineteen dollars and fifty cents, as does silver. So we'll see where this shakes out. I'd still keep watching the notes and bonds because the notes and bonds are saying that they still want higher price, and that would say to me that you know we're up two points in the S and P, but when all said and done, I don't think we're going to be up because these notes and bonds. This is a strong move. Once again, it's a strong move. So you take a look at the two. We're at uh, oh, I know. Let's do the curve. <laughs> So the curve right now, five four. Yeah. So two years at one point five five four, ten year one point five seven. So positive yield curve. Right? Okay. Yeah. So by by a lot more than yesterday. They took at, yeah. 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 Stay right there, folks. We get fast market coming up next. Then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Go get him, folks. Hold on for the ride out here today.